Okay, what's up, Jose Luis? How how are you doing, man? Hi, Manuel. Doing just fine. A little bit cold, but how is tr can, treating you the it. European life? Yeah, getting uh, the the best. Everything, every size. Nice, nice. So uh, you are my first victim on this podcast, and I want you to, <laughs> in general, just tell me. Who are you? What you've been doing? Where did you study? Why did you study? I think you studied uh, chemical engineering, engineering, right? Yeah. Nice, nice. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to post this into my blog. So yeah, tell me whatever you want about your studies, your abroad studies, and then we pass to your work in life. Okay, no issues. Uh, well, as Emma said, my name is Jose Luis. I'm from uh, Colima, Mexico. I'm 25 years old. And, uh, well, I studied chemistry because in the in the high school, I was good at it. So uh, when I was trying to decide whether to study, I, I said, well, okay, I wanted engineering. That, that was for sure. And I didn't like uh, a lot of physics or electromechanics. So I said, okay, I'm a bit of a good of, of, of chemistry. So... Let's take this path, but um, when I <laughs> when I was studying ke uh, chemical engineering in college, wow, it was not what I was uh, expecting. Uh, it was really challenging, but really really good at the same time. So okay, uh, that okay, that was the reason why I started all the chemical engineering. Uh, I did one semester in in Montreal, in the Polytechnic de Montreal, also. Mm -hmm. Canada. Uh, in Canada, yeah. Also doing some uh, engineering, having engineering classes. Uh, as as I don't know, as some some guys might know in our university, you you and me, Emmanuel, in Mexico, you get a part of chemical engineering, but also some some aspects of industrial engineering. So I wanted to to take a look in, in this field on in industrial engineering. So I, that's why I did my my abroad experience about that uh, and voila. Yeah, uh, but let me tell you about, about like, I think most engineers get into chemical engineering because they think like, oh, I'm good in chemistry, I am good in, yeah. in math, <laughs> let's do this shit. And you're like, yeah, I'm like an engineer. And then you're like, what is this? This is process engineer. And you get like, this is yeah. not what exactly you expected, but I think everyone love it when they get in. It, If you don't love it, I think the, yeah. the students go, like, drop it in the first year or so. Yeah, yeah and, and honestly, I don't see myself in, with all due respect to the pure chemical guys, I don't see myself in a laboratory and so. So I think the the chemical chemical engineering was, was the right choice for me. But yeah, for sure, if you don't like it, if you don't get the sense of joy in it, you will and will be yeah, you're, dropping. Yeah, you're, you're going to, to suffer it. So the most logical thing yeah. is to drop it. And uh, yeah, me too. Uh, like, uh, I love chemistry, but being in a lab or something like that, it, I think that's a very personal issue. And I think it was not for me. And I think in general for chemical engineers, it's more like they love to be working in a like factory or something like that. In, in the field. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. In the field. <laughs> Now... About, the, I think you work in Mexico like one year and a half or two. Can you tell us something about that? Where where was it and what were you doing and the company profile, all that? Okay. Uh, I was part of the Jacobs Engineering office in, in DuPont in, in Mexico. The business unit of DuPont there was uh, food ingredients. So we were basically extracting pectin from... Uh, Uh, Citrix, uh, yeah, from from Citrix, and uh, well, I there I learned uh, how to how to make projects all that uh, require in, in planning in hazard analysis, feasibility analysis, uh, all 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 what it takes to to make a, a project. I had a great really, a really great experience there. And yeah, it was it was for only a year, but uh, you like it. it. Was a, 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 I liked it. Yeah, I liked the dynamism of doing projects because uh, I mean you have uh, the 
the office work, you may call it that way, and also the work in the field. So uh, you, you, you get to face a lot of challenges uh, of different types because the projects are really different. So yeah, it's not, not a routinary uh, yeah. uh, job, routinary work. So yeah. I Every, liked it about that. Every day is something new and you need to tag something new. I, I love it. Yeah, 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 exactly. And it's more like you will, you will say that you work, you needed to know the chemical engineering basics or maybe other like maybe I don't know industrial engineering or mechanical engineering could do that as well uh, well the, the mechanical engineering of the industrial for sure uh, have some impact in the, in the project but they, they have some uh, some other perspective point uh, but now what, what we know is uh, chemicals and the basics we, we learn in, in college is something that no, no one else can, at least at the beginning, no one else can 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 perform. Uh, you you're gonna meet a lot of uh, civil engineers, electronical engineers, that based on experience that get to to learn about the all the process and the chemicals. But I must say that in the beginning, only the chemicals guys could could, could perform this yeah, this I, task. I actually think like we have the advantage because you know the chemical processes. But at the same yeah. time, like it's not that different from other engineering. It's like a civil engineer can get the chemical stuff, and as the chemical engineer can get the civil engineering stuff. It's not that yeah. like maybe it's just about time. But of course, you get the advantage if you are doing the you were I think in the in the chemist part or the chemistry part. Yeah, yeah. I think you are you get a little uh, bit more advantage. I mean, yeah. Also, uh, you you get the notion of uh, which uh, I mean in, in the civil and the electrical part uh, in, instrumentation. Also, uh, you get the feeling of what you need to consider, but but also uh, designing or or um, calculating a structure. I don't know that that's another different uh, aspect. But you you get you get a notion of what you must uh, take care of uh, and all what all the. What, what all the implications that the civil and the electronical uh, aspects will 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 have in, in your in your in your size so it must be an equilibrium between all the disciplines yeah and yeah yeah exactly yeah. Yeah. yeah now let's see did you think that you like you, tell, you right now you're in a in a company in Belgium right in Brussels mm -hmm. what what's your job there and how can you relate with your past job, did it work? Did it help? And I think you also told me about the LinkedIn experience you applied via LinkedIn or something like that. And I would like to know more about that, which I think LinkedIn now is like the master of job finding, especially internationally. Yeah. So yeah, tell me about that. Okay, so uh, before graduating, uh, I, I had in mind uh, having some uh, uh, international experience uh, uh, so with this in mind and after my year of experience in Mexico I just decided to to, to, to try to to see what what I could I could get uh, uh, so I, <clears throat> I use uh, LinkedIn I made my profile like I, I believe most of you uh, have, have done it and the thing is that you must, uh, you must, uh, in this, uh, I mean, it was not a, a really uh, easy path. Maybe for some guys it is, for some it isn't. But I think the basis is, uh, as a, a, a college professor used to say, be, be in the right time and the right place. Uh, I think I was lucky that they were needing someone like me in that precise, uh, precise uh, period of time. But uh, yeah, how I just did it in? Okay, um, I had some experience doing project as um, part of as a contractor. So I looked up for contractor companies, uh, not only in Brussels, uh, also in, in France and uh, in Canada and the US. Uh, so uh, Parting from this point, something that I, I had experience too, I contacted him, and uh, and then I just start uh, getting getting um, getting in contact with with people, uh, and inviting them, being patient, uh, 
and as I said, I, I just I just was in the right time, the right place, and voila. Yeah, I think life is in general that being in the right place and the mm -hmm. right moment. And but were you shooting just like random invitations, or are you you were trying like to see which kind of companies were related to these guys, or how was it like? How do you search for that job exactly, or how do you get into contact with that part of the like company? I must say I did both. <laughs> I did. Uh... A little bit of, of research and trying to, to see if my if my if my profile match to what they were looking for, and also uh, just uh, <laughs> send applications and send uh, messages and send LinkedIn connections randomly. I must say I did both. Yeah, uh, I think you you start like relax. Okay, maybe let's send like super. Like, <laughs> that's my profile. Let's see if it works. And eventually you are like fuck this. This is for free. Uh, an invitation doesn't cost if they don't want you to <laughs> accept the invitation where in the first place you didn't have that connection so at least you know that's a no and you're still looking and looking and applying and searching for jobs I think that's the most normal case when you're looking for a job yeah, yeah. so and, well, yeah, yeah now I'm here in Brussels uh, also working uh, as a consultant in the ankle and it, it has been good also challenging also dynam also dynamic so yeah i'd like it so how, how much time do you want to spend at least your like two years ten years do you have like something in mind or you're just there enjoying the job right now and then you see what's going to be life in the future exactly <laughs> the last the last one Yeah, you're um, just waiting. Let's yeah, see. Okay, yeah. yeah. Just arrive. I, I've been here for for six months. Yeah, so I, I just wanna see how it goes, uh, and 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 I'm not not uh, for sure. I wanna go back to Mexico. Uh, I I truly believe that we are we are lucky to have the education that that we had and. Uh, we must we must apply what we have learned uh, in Mexico outside of Mexico uh, uh, to apply to to, to 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 real life to the country uh, to yeah. the trips to the trips of some okay. all the things that I mean we're Mexicans we yeah okay we don't do it who else would one last thing like for conclusion let me in Like general tips, I mean general, not like uh, study this subject or I mean like super general tips for chemical engineers that are right now working and maybe also students that are maybe looking for a job, like maybe in one year they're graduating and they have no idea what they want to do. Can, can you tell us some tips or general ideas on what they can do? Okay, well, the, the first thing, uh, thing I have in mind And I remember a, a professor uh, uh, tell, telling this. It was uh, uh, in ke chemical problems in real uh, in college. You get all the information, like all uh, uh, all data. How to say all, uh, all, but all the data. I remember this guy saying, uh, "You are you're having trouble solving this, but I'm giving you all the information. Imagine when you have to." Look out for information and uh, make estimations. Uh, so, my my point here is, uh, yeah, you uh, you learn what you learn in school, but uh, the the real fun is is when you have to work. Uh, uh, my general uh, my general tip will be that in engineering you learn to learn, and uh, this is what 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 you will have to do in, in your job eventually. Uh, you have to you have to learn and, and learn fast and, and learn yeah. the, um, the right the right way and uh, that that so to to know what you like or not uh, I don't know <laughs> uh, it's, it's it's difficult you just just you just have to try but try and trust uh, chemical yeah but chemical engineering that's what it gives you it gives you The, the skill to learn, to learn fast, to learn accurately, and that's it. Oh. That's what I was to say. <laughs> no, it's okay, it's okay, just general conclusions. 
So yeah, I think we cover most of the things we wanted to cover, like your work and essentially how you use LinkedIn to get your job, which is awesome, I think. I, I probably will never think that LinkedIn work that much, or I will say like, I will try it, but I don't know if this is my like top priority. And right now I will say if I wanted to go to at least Europe or America, I would say like definitely use LinkedIn at least to a certain extent, maybe 30%, 40%. And yeah, that, that's everything. Something else you want to say? No, no, I hope uh, I hope uh, I help uh, what you had in mind for for your audience and 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 that <laughs> I hope I could help. Yeah, right, so of course I think at least some chemical engineers or students that are getting some process engineering will take this into consideration. And that's uh, that was my friend Jose Luis Farias, right now in Brussels, Mexican engineer. Um, yeah, well, just wanted to tell you, thank you for accepting this invitation, Jose Luis, and see you in the net in the next podcast. Okay. See you, man. See you.